welcome back guys so i have some good news for you we finally have a release date for the android version of vita 3k ps vita emulator developer mac2 has shared a lot of juicy information with the community on vita 3k's discord server this is the release date announcement post vita 3k will release publicly next sunday at 11 am utc plus one time zone i am from india it translates to sunday 3 30 pm the developer has stated that even with the first public build of Vita 3K, the emulator is still in an experimental stage, so the games can crash, don't be surprised at that. It will improve over time. The APK and its updates will be available below this message in this channel. I'll give the link to this Discord server in the description of this video. Moving on to the minimum requirements, ARM64 device with Vulkan 1.0 support, Android 7 Plus, Note, if your device supports Vulkan 1.0, then it is running at least Android 7. Recommended requirements to be updated, but if your device only has the minimum requirements, don't expect to be able to run anything more than some homebrews and 2D games. I think Snapdragon 870 processor should be more than enough for running most of the Vita games. PlayStation Vita has an ARM based processor, Quadco. It's old and outdated by today's standards. Moving on. The Android version will not be open source for at least a few months. This means that nobody else is able to build or modify it. If you were to install a version that is not downloaded from this channel, let's say downloaded it from a third party website, you'll end up installing malware on your mobile phone. So make sure you grab the build from this channel only. I can understand why the developer did not make it open source for at least a few months. If you search on Play Store, you will find a lot of fake emulators, PlayStation 3 emulator, Xbox 360 emulator and so and so. Many such applications are just running either SSD emulator infested with ads. In Android emulation community, there are some Chinese emulators that are allegedly running on code stolen from open source emulators. I don't even need to name them, you already know about these emulators. Android version supports custom drivers for Adreno GPUs. This support is not available for Mali GPUs. We have seen these custom drivers in action on Skyline emulator. If you have an Adreno 600 series GPU, it is recommended to use Turnip drivers to get a big speed increase. Vita 3K is compatible with ATPKG drivers. I guess this does not mean that if you have a device with Mali GPU, emulator won't work on it. It will still work, but you won't be able to use Turnip drivers, basically losing out on performance. And then the developer talked about licensing. The emulator has a GPL2 license, which means one is not allowed to make a modified version and publish it without the source code attached, which is exactly what they are doing. They got the approval of the devs and contributor of Beta 3K to publish this version. So there you go guys, next Sunday all of us will be having access to the Android build of Vita 3K emulator. Before wrapping up, just wanted to share with you some PC games that you can grab for absolutely free. Dishonored Dead of the Outsider. You can grab it for free from Epic Games website. Give its link in the description of the video. Next game, City of Gangsters, again available on Epic Games website. If you have Amazon Prime Gaming subscription, then you can grab the PC version of Elder Scrolls Part 3 for absolutely free. Platform is GOG. That's it guys, I'll end the video here, I hope you found it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.